Hey guys, how you doing? So this is going to be a super nerdy video for uh, level six and above nerds. So I'm going to dive deep into a subject I haven't talked about in a while, just to level up your game as a, a programmer. Code reuse is one of the fundamental goals in object-oriented programming. You want to reuse code. Why? Because Reusing code, A, will save you time, will mean less code in your code base, which means less time debugging that code. So there's a bunch of different strategies that the nerds have come up with to reuse code. Some of those strategies turn out to be a big thumbs down, and some are pretty good. So I'm going to cover one thing here. So uh, here's the rule. Composition, composition is superior to inheritance. Composition is superior to inheritance. That is the principle. You can go look that up on ChatGPT if you want, or you can get it from me here. So what is composition? Composition is basically you have a bunch of objects, and each object does its own particular thing. Remember, all your objects should be finite in terms of their functionality that they provide. Don't have God objects, objects which try to do too many things at the same time. That's just a recipe for disaster. So. You have object A, B, C, and D. So object A is the email validator, and object B is the email sender. So instead of writing all the object validation code in your email sender object, you just import that object through composition. That's the preferred way. That's the way you got to do it. Now, in object-oriented programming, when it basic principles, as I just stated, is to reuse code to avoid, to minimize bugs, and you don't want to be rewriting the same code over and over again. Creates all kinds of problems. So inheritance was a mechanism built into object-oriented programming. It's a fundamental mechanism that was built in there with the intentions of, again, reusing code so you minimize code base, etc. But inheritance has, inheritance has a huge flaw. Inheritance, if you don't know what it is, is basically inheriting code from a parent object into a uh, child object. So let me explain it another way. So you got a base of objects that you write that form the basis of your application. Point number one. Point number two. Then you create on top of that, in another layer of code, a bunch of other objects that rely on the functionality provided by your base objects. So just like a foundation of a home. You got your foundation and you build on top of the foundation, right? Now the problem with inheritance is that uh, by using inheritance, the mechanism of inheritance, where you basically borrow code from your base objects, uh, it creates an inherent brittleness in the uh, code base. Big, big, big no-no. I've seen it firsthand in big projects, so you don't want to avoid that. Inheritance basically sucks, you know, because what happens, if you create a bunch of child objects that inherit from the parent objects, the child objects are typically losers, right? Just like in real life. People who inherit a ton of money from their parents are typically losers. So you don't want to write a bunch of loser objects that are brittle and are fragile and they easily break apart because if there's ever any change to the parent object, the loser, uh, <laughs> the sub-object, the, sub the object that inherits from the parent object is going to get broken. I've been in projects, big projects, where they created a, a set of base classes and uh, then other developers were inheriting functionality from the base classes and then some uh, wise guy developer decided to go and re and change some of the uh, some of the parameters in the base objects and it created a cascade effect of breaking everything now of course you could say well, who was that loser who rewrote the base class? That's stupid, who, re who rewrote the parent class. Well, guess what? Welcome to real world development. Things change. On the other hand, if composition would have been implemented as a strategy of code reuse over inheritance, you wouldn't have that problem. Composition is very superior in every single aspect to inheritance. The only time you use inheritance is in very rare situations 
where the parent class, the base classes that you will inherit from are not mutable. They never change. Very rare, very, very rare. So there you go, that's some nerdy stuff. You've learned that what composition is. You learn it's far superior to inheritance. You learn that objects that inherit from parent uh, objects, or you learn that classes, in other words, you learn that classes that inherit from base classes or from their parent classes, like humans, they are typically loser classes. So you don't want to write a bunch of loser objects that inherit from parent objects and uh, they're just too brittle, they easily break. It's amazing how coding and life are analogous, huh?